I often get asked which supplements I take for muscle building and fat loss and which supplements you should take. And there is a number one supplement that I recommend. I'm gonna take you through that one and some of the other ones in this video and I'm gonna give you a completely honest review. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape. And one of my biggest recommendations for you if you're over 40 is to actually work on your body composition. And so what that means is building muscle and losing fat all at the same time and I've actually done a video on this and I'm not going to be talking about nutrition I'm not going to be talking about training I'm talking purely about supplements and which are the best ones and the first thing I want to say is you absolutely do not have to take any supplements at all you can build muscle and you can lose fat without supplements and actually if you haven't got your nutrition down, if you haven't got your training down, there is absolutely no point in taking supplements. But I'll give you the clue. The first supplement I am going to talk about is actually connected to nutrition. And I'm going to take you through the supplements that I actually take, the ones that I recommend to my clients. And I'm going to talk about ones that are either borderline or possibly don't really make that much difference. The thing about it is, when you're over 40, or like me, over 50, it's actually really hard to build muscle naturally. I'm a completely natural athlete. The only way that I build my muscle is through nutrition, is through training, and a little bit of supplementation. Supplementation is definitely the third on the list out of those three things. It's the icing on the cake. It's not gonna make a huge difference because we're not talking about performance enhancing drugs or otherwise known as PEDS. People accuse me of taking PEDS. I don't take PEDS. So it's gonna be really hard to build muscle, especially when you're over 40. Supplementation can help because you've just gotta give your body every chance, every opportunity. So what's my number one supplementation? My number one supplementation is protein powder because you can get your protein from food and there's absolutely no problem with that. But protein powder just makes it easier. There are a number of benefits that I'm gonna talk about when it comes to protein. And then I'm gonna talk about how to take it. The first thing is protein is actually one of the building blocks for building muscle. It's gonna help you, particularly if you take protein post strength training, kind of within around an hour or two hours of strength training, have a meal or supplement that is protein based and that's really gonna help you build muscle. But also eat some protein at every single meal and snack. So you're having some protein spread out throughout the day. Your body takes longer to break down protein than it does carbohydrates and fats, for example. So protein is better for your metabolism because your body has to work harder to digest protein. So it's always a good idea, whether you're training or not, to take your protein high. And also what it's gonna do is it's gonna make you feel satiated because it's your body's taking longer to break it down. It makes you feel more satiated. And if you're not feeling as hungry, you're gonna be able to stick to whatever meal plan you're on or whether you're tracking your calories and macros and therefore not go off track with food. And I'm gonna take you through the various protein powders. So the first one I'm gonna talk about there, that's whey protein. That's a very popular protein. Some people would argue that it's more effective. This is my partner's whey protein. I find it quite difficult to digest, but I'm okay with casein, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Whey protein powder comes in two forms. So there's whey 
concentrate and there's whey isolate and whey isolate is just a purer form it has less carbohydrates and fats and people often find that they get on better with digesting whey isolate if they have problems with digesting whey concentrate this one is whey concentrate another type of protein powder is casein casein is different from whey whey is quick acting you're going to absorb it quickly and it's quickly going to go into your muscles so it's really good for example for post workout casein is a little bit different it's slow releasing and it takes your body longer to absorb it so the time that i eat casein is when i am at Actually getting ready for a show a bodybuilding show I'm in a calorie deficit I'm actually quite hungry a lot of the time and I'm quite hungry at night so I actually take it at night before I go to bed to stop me waking up feeling hungry so it's really good for that and bodybuilders generally use casein at night and it's gonna help replenish your muscle through the night when you're actually sleeping. Now, I've got a couple of examples here of plant-based protein. If you're taking plant-based protein, I eat a lot of plant-based protein most of the time. It is effective for muscle building. Any source of protein is effective for muscle building. But generally, you have to eat a little bit more than if you were eating whey protein. And often now, the measurements, so those two packs that I showed you, they actually come in 35 gram measurements as opposed to whey protein that tends to come with 20 gram scoops. So they actually come in bigger measurements because you do actually need more plant protein than you do whey protein. My number two supplement, and I absolutely love this i've been taking it for years and there's loads of scientific evidence to show that this one actually works and there's a few that are kind of have mixed reviews but this one actually works athletes use it it's actually found in beef so it's a completely natural supplement and that's creatine so i've got this creatine here how do I take it? Well, I put it in my drink as what's called an intra-workout. So I drink it while I'm working out and it helps you with performance in the gym and it helps with muscle building. And they usually come with a scoop inside the pack. Some people cycle creatine. I don't do that and I only consume it purely when I work out some people consume it not only when they work out but the rest of the time as well my number three supplement and there's kind of two really is branch chain amino acids and glutamine now there is evidence for and against these supplements i'm not gonna lie what they're used for is protein synthesis and muscle recovery and often you can actually find bcaa's and glutamine in your protein powder so you don't have to have a separate supplement. I like to have BCAAs as a drink while I'm working out. I also recommend this to my clients because I do find it helps with muscle recovery and I find I get less sore when I'm drinking BCAAs. So those are the main three ones that I would recommend to you. The next one I'm going to talk about is L-carnitine. Now, L-carnitine is actually a fat burner used for muscle building. It is found in one of the branch chain amino acids. Coaches may recommend it to you. I've been recommended L-carnitine by coaches. I haven't noticed any difference by taking that. But I was recommended it for fat burning. I, and I know looking at the research, there are kind of mixed reviews from L-carnitine. You may also want to try taking pre-workouts. Now, pre-workouts are just something that's gonna give you a lot of energy for performance in the gym. And I find a coffee just does just as well as that. Something with caffeine in it, like coffee, it's gonna give you the performance in the gym. And I don't really like the feeling that pre-workout gives, but some people like them. It's not gonna make your muscles grow particularly, but what it might do is give you more energy to increase your performance 
when you're working out, which in turn helps you build muscle. I'm gonna talk about fat burners now. I don't really believe the over-the-counter fat burners give you any more fat burning. A lot of the ingredients can be found like green tea and caffeine in other ways anyway. But what they can actually do is if you're in a really big calorie deficit, so that's what happens to me about six weeks leading up to the show, I can be really drained of energy. And so that's the time when I might take a fat burner because it doesn't really help me burn fat. What it does is it just gives me the energy to get through the day and actually do some of my workout. That's the only time I would take it is just leading up to a show. If you're not doing a show, I don't think it's necessary. And as I said, I don't think it really helps you burn fat. Now there is hydroxymethylbutyrate, which is HMB. The results on this are mixed. I tried taking it in a bit. I didn't notice any improvement and then I just stopped taking it. And there's some evidence to show that it's really good for muscle building. And yet other studies have shown that it doesn't actually make any difference. So I would say just save your money. Don't bother with that. Go for my top three. I have put a link in the description to my Amazon store. And I do take a small percentage of the takings from that where you can check out those supplements for yourself and other supplements. And these are the supplements, not only do I take them myself, but I actually recommend them to clients because I know they're the ones that actually work. And I haven't covered menopause supplements. So if that's something of interest to you, do let me know in the comments and I will talk about the menopause supplements I take and what ones I recommend in another video if there's enough people that say they'd like this. 